My patients ask me all the time, can you reverse problems with erections? And is there anything besides medication? I'm Dr. Rena Malik, urologist and pelvic surgeon, and today I'm gonna to talk about just that. What can you do, and is it effective to help reverse or even improve erectile dysfunction that doesn't require medication, or might even be as good as medication? In this study, they did a meta-analysis. Now, what's a meta-analysis? A meta-analysis is essentially taking all the studies that are on a particular topic and looking specifically, in this case, at randomized control trials. So there was a control arm that didn't do exercises that was prescribed to them, and there was an experimental arm. And in this experimental arm, people were randomized to get some sort of exercise prescription. Now, that could be supervised or unsupervised. And in this particular study, they found 11 total studies that they looked at and of those six they had supervised exercise programs and they were observed or monitored to reach certain metrics and the other five studies were unsupervised and what kind of exercises did they do well they did aerobic exercises meaning that they did certain activities that raised their heart rate and these were typically ranged between 30 and 60 minutes at a time between three to five times a week and the specific exercises they asked people to do in these studies were either cycling walking or using the treadmill, and in some cases, just unsupervised aerobic activities. And what they aimed for was a VO2 max of 40% or higher, or a maximum heart rate of 55% or higher, usually 55 to 79% on average. So you may be wondering, how do you determine your maximum heart rate or your VO2 max? Well, the maximum heart rate, there's a really crude measurement where you can actually subtract your age from 220, and that's your maximum heart rate. So if you're 20 years old, your maximum heart is 200 beats per minute. Now, your VO2 max is usually a number that's measured in a laboratory. So you go to a laboratory, they do some physical fitness testing, and they determine your VO2 max. But there is an online calculator, which I actually tried, checked it out, and I will link in the description below. So you can, if you want to determine your VO2 max, you can do that as well. Okay, so in all of these studies, they used a validated questionnaire to assess erectile function called the International Index of Erectile Function. And this is used through multitude of erectile dysfunction studies it is basically a measure of how bad your erectile dysfunction is and it usually gives you a number that then translates to mild moderate or severe erectile dysfunction when you look at all comers this included guys who were followed for three months to guys who were followed up to 24 months depending on the study they found that your erectile function score improved by 2.8 this doesn't seem like a lot but they then did an analysis breaking down the severity of erectile function at baseline and how they improved. So they looked at mild, moderate, and severe erectile dysfunction, and they found that they improved more dramatically if they had severe erectile dysfunction. So those guys improved by 4.9 points. The guys with minimal ED improved by 2.3 points. Now, just for context, how much do you improve when you take testosterone, for example? Now, if you've been watching for a long time, you know that testosterone is not the only cause of erectile dysfunction. In fact, it only accounts for three to six percent of all people who have erectile dysfunction. So giving testosterone is certainly not going to help the majority of people, but when it does improve, it improves the erectile function by two points. So this is even more than taking testosterone. Now when you take medication, it improves by somewhere between four to eight points. So doing aerobic exercise consistently three to five times a week can be almost as good, if not better, than medication for people. Now, let me say that again, doing aerobic exercise, which is completely free to you. All you have to do is go outside and take a walk, right? Completely free. You can go out and take a walk three to five times a week will improve your erectile function as much as medications without any of the side effects. So you may be wondering, well, some of these guys had help. They had you know, people supervising them. Some of these people were taking meds. Some of these people were exercising for longer periods of time versus shorter periods of time. And at the end of it all, that didn't change the benefit of the aerobic exercise. So while those things can be helpful in some circumstances, the benefit of exercise remained despite any of those things. They went as far as to do a trim and fill analysis. Now what this is, is when you have publication bias, 
bias, like there may be biases in one publication and not in another, you may actually skew the data. And when they did this, they actually saw an improvement in the average score from 2.8 points improved to three points improved. So they really looked at this data quite rigorously in a multitude of different ways. And no matter how you look at it, exercise always improves sexual function. So now you may be saying, well, I understand exercise is good for you, but how does it actually improve erectile function? Well, on my previous video, I talked about how erectile dysfunction is very strongly correlated with your heart health. And that's because we know that people who have good cardiovascular health are less likely to get erectile dysfunction. And that's because their arteries are healthy. So they have good blood flow. So of course, exercise helps cardiovascular health. That's unequivocal. We know that that's true. Also, it helps improve weight loss. It improves glycemic control, meaning your blood sugars are better controlled and improves blood pressure, all things that are associated with poor erections. Now at the cellular level, exercise improves the abilities of your body to make nitric oxide. Now nitric oxide is the ignition for erections. If you don't have nitric oxide, you cannot have an erection. So it actually improves the ability of your endothelial cells, which are your lining of your blood vessels to create nitric oxide. Also it improves some other cells called progenitor cells that also increase and help again make more nitric oxide and essentially make healthier blood vessels and help with erections. And lastly, exercise improves testosterone. Now the way this works is it activates the hypothalamic pituitary axis. So what that is, is that the axis that creates testosterone, that function of that improves. It also reduces something called sex hormone binding globulin. Now, if you didn't know, a lot of your testosterone is bound by proteins. Now that's sex hormone binding binding globulin and albumin. Now albumin is super important for a lot of other functions, but sex hormone binding globulin can be increased by other exogenous factors or factors outside your control. So aerobic exercise actually reduces your sex hormone binding globulin so that more of your testosterone is free for your body to use for all the important functions that testosterone provides. And if you're curious what those are, make sure you check out my video about testosterone. But ultimately testosterone, one of the things that is really important is erectile function. Function. And lastly, exercise reduces oxidative stress. Now, what is oxidative stress? So oxidative stress is essentially when your body is unable to clear up free radicals that are causing damage to your body. And so when you have more oxidative stress, it can lead to damage. And also it can lead to more inflammation, which again is all bad for erections. All right, guys, so there you have it. There are no quick fixes. If you want to maintain good erectile function, you need to get some form of aerobic exercise. Now you don't have to go to the gym. You can literally go outside and go for a walk. You can go play with your kids and run around. You can go do any sort of activity that you enjoy, whether it's pickleball, basketball, anything, just do it regularly and that will help improve your erections significantly. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this video, make sure you check out my video on erectile function and how it affects your brain. And if you guys are enjoying my content and wanna see me as a patient, I would be honored to see you. I have a practice in Newport Beach, California where I can see you in person or via telemedicine if you're located in the states of California, New Jersey, New York, Texas, Florida, or I can see you via telemedicine in the seven states I'm licensed in. I can also see you for an educational visit and I see more and more people every day taking advantage of that opportunity to see me and talk about your issue and get advice on what to do when you see your doctor and get advice on what questions you need to ask your doctor about or if you're thinking about coming to California to at least get a sense of what you can expect when you come and if it's the right fit for you. As always remember to take care of yourself because you're worth it.